Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about data cleaning and preprocessing with Python. For this, we are going to use a, a data set from Kaggle. You can find it here. It's the mobile mobile price classification. You can search it on kaggle.com, download it and use it. Or you can use your own data set. Uh, the script uh, I use for this presentation uh, is avail available on pluralsite.com. Uh, the course uh, is called Representing, Processing, and Preparing Data by Janani Ravi. It's a great course, and I'm not uh, intending to replace her course. Of course, that's her job. Uh, what I'm going to explain here in this video is just a little piece uh, of the entire training course. So let's get started. For the exploratory analysis uh, of the data set, first we need to install a uh, pandas and seaborne libraries. Then we have to import pandas and numpy. Uh, then we are going to read the file. Uh, in order to uh, import the file, uh, you can import it into the ML. A uh, study. Let me show you how. When you go to compute you, and you go to Jupyter, you find your username folder, and then you can uh, you can upload files here, and I have them there. Okay, that's easy. Let's go back. We read the CSV file and put it in a data in a pandas data frame. Then we show the first uh, rows of the file, and then you can see we have some columns: battery power, uh, Bluetooth, clock speed, etc., etc. Some of the columns are numerical values, but some are categories like 4G. 4G it's either true or false. We have the price range, which can be zero, one, two, one, three, for example, depending on on the on the price. Uh, let's check the data types. So this will show for every column which data type is detected, either int or float in this case. Let's check the data shape. So that means two thousand and two rows and twenty two columns. And the columns are these ones that you can see here with that added columns. Then we are going to drop uh, one of the columns because it's not relevant for what we need to do, and that's the ID. Then we have 21 columns. Then we are going to describe what we have. And then this is a really great tool because it would show the count, the mean, the standard deviation, uh, the 25, 50, and 75 percentile and the minimum and maximum values for each column. Then let's do some data cleaning and rename some columns. So for example, Bluetooth is the, the original column is blue, FC, we can rename it to front camera megapixel and so on. Then we can see again the first uh, five rows and the the columns have been renamed and we can see again the data that shape. Let's go to 100 duplicates. Let's see how many duplicates are on the first five rows. Apparently there are no duplicates, but what about the second? According to this, there are two duplicates on, on this first data set. We are going to drop those duplicates. And we have two row lists. Yeah, what I mean here in the in the first uh, five rows there were no duplicates. That's why you see false here. But in, in the entire data sets, there were two duplicates and they were dropped here with this data dot drop duplicates function. Let's work in missing data. So there are two ways to do it. The is null, you can see there are seven uh, empty rows or empty fields for megapixel, then for depth, then for mobile weight. Uh, and there is a new function in pandas, which is na. 
and that does exactly the same. Now we need to start filling data. So one way to do it, as you show, as, as I show in the in the previous video, is with fill NA. So in this case, we are going to use the FC megapixel, and we are going to fill empties with zeros. Okay, and now we have the FC megapixel. There are no empty rows or empty fields. Uh, let's check the uniqueness of one column. So for the RAM, we have 1,500 uh, unique uh, values. Uh, what about if we fill it, uh, the empty rows with the backfill method? As explained in the last video, it will show, it will fill the empty rows with the, uh, a backward mechanism. And then we have 1561 unique values because we replace the empty with the backfill mechanisms. Let's check again the is null and as you can see the RAM there are zero empty fields. We can also use the median uh, to fill so that's the uh, strategy that we are going to use for the mobile weight. Then we check the first five rows, and then we are going to drop uh, some columns which have empty some some rows which have empty uh, empty fields. And then we can see again, and there are no empty fields in the entire dataset. Let's check again, and we have 1,995, so we drop some, some fields. Let's check the columns. Those are the columns that we got in the data set. And then we can export that to another CSV, mobile.clean CSV. You can use that CSV to use in Excel, or you can still uh, use it in Python as well for the next video. Uh, finally, and before going to handling outliers in the next video, I'm going to drop uh, the categor categorical columns, so like Bluetooth, touchscreen, Wi-Fi, etc. And we are going to put the, the new columns in the numeric data, data frame. And then we are going to put the ones we drop in uh, the category data dataset. That's important because uh, in the next video, we are going to handle all layers. All layers uh, are uh, data points which are either too low or too high of the, of the mean of, the, of each uh, column. But I will explain that in the next video. I hope you like this video, if you find it informative. Let's see you soon.